We're asked to determine the derivative of the given function. Notice f of x is a quotient of two functions of x, and therefore we will apply the quotient rule of differentiation to find the derivative function. And the quotient rule is shown here at the bottom, where we have the derivative of u divided by v with respect to x is equal to v times u prime minus u times v prime, all divided by v squared. Or we can say the derivative is equal to the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, all divided by the denominator squared. So in our case, f prime of x is equal to, if we start with the denominator, we have the denominator squared, or v squared, which is the square of the quantity 3x to the seventh plus six. In the numerator, we have the denominator, or v, which is 3x to the seventh plus six times the derivative of the numerator, or u prime, which is the derivative of four sine x minus eight with respect to x. And then we have minus the numerator, or u, which is the quantity four sine x minus eight, and then times the derivative of the denominator, or v prime, which is the derivative of three x to the seventh plus six with respect to x. Notice how we haven't found any derivatives yet. We just wrote out the quotient rule for differentiation. And now we need to find the derivative here and the derivative here, and then simplify if possible. So for now, the denominator stays the same. In the numerator, we have the quantity three x to the seventh plus six, and then times the derivative of four sine x minus eight which is equal to four cosine x minus zero, or just four cosine x. And then we have minus the quantity four sine x minus eight times the derivative of three x to the seventh plus six with respect to x, which is 21 x to the sixth. And now let's go ahead and distribute in the numerator and see if we can simplify. The denominator stays the same. Distributing four cosine x, we have 12 x to the seventh cosine x, and then plus 24 cosine x. Next, we'll distribute 21 x to the sixth, and then subtract 21 x to the sixth times four sine x is equal to 84 x to the sixth sine x, giving us minus 84 x to the sixth sine x. And then 21 x to the sixth times negative eight is negative 168 x to the sixth, but we're subtracting, which gives us plus positive 168 x to the sixth. And I think we'll go ahead and leave the derivative in this form here. Now, I hope you found this helpful.